Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana. And today, we're back with the Sensory Gat Fame. Let me just kind of uh, undo this damage, see if there's anything else that might go up in flames while we're at it. I want to go ahead and put this out because I'm a little worried that if I don't, more things will start, you know, blowing up. Oh, I left this open. You might have noticed that we have two new members in the Powerhouse Club. Fans, Wilkinson, who is apparently a vampire. Don't worry, I need to change that. And Nestor Jarvis. And you might be like, oh, who are these two snakes? Be surprised to know, but yeah, yeah, our girls, our last two single, singular girls, finally have some boyfriends. I'm not saying finally as in, like, come on, but they deserve to be with someone. This is a flipping mess. I'm going to clean this up because the boys will be coming over soon. Tina is he's a rising star. As I've noticed in the last part, she was not a star. Neither was Lilith, but because of the mixology career and their wish to become quite good with that, I feel like they deserve to be a little more popular, a little bit more known than they are, since they are really good bartenders and they're pretty famous around here. So. For your info, and I think it's about time that we ask everyone to leave and then kind of get on with their lives. I was nice you know, being here, but the guys are gonna have some time together. Need some time later tonight, like when the boys when the boys come here, we're gonna go over to the gym and have some time together. It happened when everyone goes home, changes into their workout clothes, and meets us later. But for now, bye bye everyone. To put some clothes on, you know be nice all right let's invite over the boys i think that should we invite over everyone i don't know i'm kind of doubting like maybe i should just over invite over the two boys actually you know what let's invite over anyone i don't or everyone i don't want it to make it an official like club hangout because i think it'll be kind of boring but now we have kind of like outfits and i don't want us to match right now I think it'll be nice for everyone to get together and get to know each other for that matter. Like, there's two new boys. I haven't met them. Paolo is super social. Like, he has no problems doing this, right? Like, he has no problems. Salem. I think Salem is feeling a little nervous. He's not used to this. Oh, look at that. Everyone's sick. What is wrong with this? I put the new mod in, like, a couple days ago. The slice of life mod and everyone is kind of like always sick all the time oh there they come so this is nestor javis and this is dina the new boyfriend looks like everyone's introducing themselves and then how about i have salem i feel like is he still there no he's coming inside this is vans and vans is lilith's new boyfriend and they're all it's sick really nice i don't know what up with this mom come together and to work out though cassie seems to be a little upset and i have a good oh and she's also kind of glitched i have a good a good good clue on why she is feeling a little like this cassie and salem have been discussing um how to say they have been discussing particular subject particular touchy subjects and i know that cassie doesn't really want kids right now but salem seems to be getting ready and ready and ready as time goes on more and more ready i was i as i might say she's getting really 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 kind of pressured almost into the thought of having kids and she does not like that whatsoever salem was not in the best mood either as you saw this morning she's distracted now by always coming over but um he surely must be feeling some some something you know himself as well and usually they would talk it out but there wasn't much time to do that and i think cassie is feeling you know she's feeling okay that's a little awkward you know oh we just did we we just reached level 10 oh oh we cannot mentor oh she's good i just don't think cassie really is ready to handle this subject she 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 can see herself be a mom like i said many many other times she can be a mom she can see herself be a mom but it's just not right now not for her she's just not into it and salem in her hand because he got fired he's like man like what am i gonna do with my life i i could get another job but isn't this perfect this is like the perfect opportunity actually now that i'm home i could just be a stay-at-home dad take care of the kids and then later when they're older i could always go back to work or i can be finally become i could finally become that author that i've always wanted to become and cassie understands this 
and I'm sure even Safana understands this, but not even Safana can really talk this in Cassie. Cassie, she's like, I need some pizza. <laughs> I need some pizza. We're here to work out, but Cassie needs some pizza. How about we're gonna go downstairs? We're all sweaty and stinky and whatnot, but I want to come here. Um, let's see where she's gonna sit. I want to. I want to sit here. Uh, you know what? Actually, why don't we all sit here and maybe we can talk it out with Cassie. We're okay. I don't want to say like we are much more easy going on this subject, but in all honesty, like I, I Savannah, Savannah doesn't have any problems with the thought of having kids. She cannot have kids. We figured this out a few episodes ago, but we don't know that she doesn't know. She doesn't know that we know. Yes, we know, but she doesn't. <laughs> That's what we know. And I. Oh, there's not enough seats for us, huh? Yo, uh, I don't really need you to be here, so could you, like, leave, perhaps? This is kind of awkward. <laughs> this is so uncomfortable, we can't even have a decent conversation. Oh my god, anyway. And uh, Lilith is, I know, actually, she's not the oldest, she's the youngest. Dina is the oldest here. So maybe Dina can kind of give us... Well, yeah, it's just so hard to know which friend of us would understand us the best, because I feel like we, we, we feel like nobody really understands us, and our acne is playing up as well. It must be some form, of, some form of stress, you know? It's just it's just kind of funny that... I don't know. There, when life goes well, and when your relationship goes well, there's always a little bit that suddenly comes in between and just kind of messes things up, and... You know, that's just life, but it doesn't mean like it's, it's, it's okay, you know? for one's joy is like the i don't know one's joy is another person's wow oh, what one person's pleasure is the other person's i don't know like there there's a certain thing for that there's a certain saying i can't find the saying right now i feel a little dumb don't worry i'm kind of dumb today today i went skating and i put my um i put my elbow i put my elbow caps on my knees and i was like wow this is so tight yeah it turned out i put the knees on my elbows oh almost and i was about to put the knees on my elbows and my elbows were on my knees and i found it quite amazing i even got the, the elbows on my knees but you know and then i was like well okay i'm definitely ready now and then i remembered that i put the hands all wrong as well and i was like mm. yeah that's just what happens anyway back to the story so how about we see miko miko Oh my god, Miko transported. Okay. You know what? I think maybe maybe just swimming a few laps will do as well. It's quite late, but you know what? I think the boys are having a great time getting to know each other and I really don't want to come home early. G really, really, really scared. Really afraid of having a kid and it like I always been saying, I've always been saying this. I'm just afraid that once I get that kid, I am going to Ooh, the butt. There is nothing left of me. I'm just going to be giving up my dreams. And and do I really want to raise? You know, do I really want to raise a kid in 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 a house that's not even ours? Like it's just not the perfect, you know, the perfect scenario. And then you know, Lilith is like, but girl, you know that you know, perfect scenarios just just you know, they're not really ideal. They're not really happening. They don't often really happen. People just make the best out of the situation and I guess that makes them ideal but ideal situations just not happen okay you know what this game is really messing with me today how am I supposed to have a good a decent storyline when shit like this happens well I cannot stop looking at that but that is a but okay mm -mm. this game really is oh okay finally this game is really testing me let me just say that let me calm her down and, and make her understand that everything will be fine and that she's just once again worrying too much about her career when Quite honestly, she doesn't even have a career yet. She's still trying to make it, and that might take forever, and she's getting older, and we don't need to give up our work in order for her, for us to have a family and kids, and if Salem is ready for that, and he's willing to give up everything in his life, to stay home, even put the writing on hold just so that you can have your career, and he can have the family, and you can have a family together, then isn't that the sweetest gesture anyone has ever made isn't that like the most perfect scenario you want ideal situation i give you that is your ideal situation you can get you, you can have a mom you can be a mom you can have a family and and all of these things and 
Okay, I guess I guess everyone is leaving. That was a deep conversation. Everyone is like leaving. Like, okay, I'm over the situation. Going home. Bye. Oh my god, it's it's three a.m. We've been at the pool until flipping three a.m. Everyone that left has gone home, and now it's just kind of Savannah sitting there thinking, you know what? I can. I think I want some kids too. You know, It'd be nice to have some kids. But can I raise some kids while I'm gonna be an actor? But then again. Maybe, maybe I can find a Salem for me too. Maybe Paolo can watch out for the kids. I mean, we can make it work, right? All this kind of made her think like, maybe I want some kids too. Oh, wait, 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 did this change? Host it. No, we did this already. Oh my God, we did this already. Oh my God, no, tell me she's not bogged. Oh my God, I already did this. Can I just like cheat for that? Oh, I didn't. Oh, so that's how <gasps> I've discovered something. Oh my god, I didn't know this was a thing. Oh my god. Wait, so I can just do this? Um. Yo, yo. I, uh, the world is open for me. Anyway. Just roughly under 30 minutes, which um, we might want to get there in time. Hmm? We are also very hungry, so maybe if we're lucky, we can go and... Maybe we should just eat something there, but what I think is more important than anything else is to actually... I was gonna say take a shower, but I just realized that I didn't make or give them any showers, which is like really bad. So I'm thinking I might just go and switch these bathtubs out for some actual shower tubs. I don't know if that's the proper term for them, uh, but that's what I'm gonna call them, shower tubs. And then I'm talking about these, of course. Um, hold up, let me move the mirror. Why there's two mirrors in there? I'm not exactly sure. Let's keep the black theme. Okay, there we go. So I might just change the other one as well in um, Salem and Cassie's house. But let's take a brisk shower. Freshen up a little bit. I think that's more important than eating. And then we're going to do our first gig. I Not our first gig, but like our first gig of this week. We haven't done one in a while. I think it's about time that we get, um, you know, get another one in. I think that it's very important to stay consistent in what we're doing. It's just an audition. We're still wearing our sponsored clothes. We still have to make a few more pictures. And um, I think we there are quite a few outfits we yet have to change into, like some winter wear and some summer wear. And we have to send in those pictures by the end of the week to keep our part of the promotion and to get our payment. And then hmm, whatever happens will happen. Obviously, we might need to change our appearance again for the audition. So we would prefer to get everything done today so that in case we do get our hair changed for the uh, for the actual gig, if we do get the audition, which I think we'll do, we'll, I think we'll get the part. I don't want to be faced with, why is your hair like red? We were supposed to have like this earthy theme. You have red hair. Um, I think Savannah would feel a little embarrassed. Salem here is grabbing a book. He's um, starting his day quite relaxed after just having a workout. A slight um, fist fight with the boxing ball. Boxing glove, would you call it the boxing ball? I'll call it, I'll call it a ball. And he um, is now just, he's trying to relax a little bit. He's not succeeding in any kind of way because he just keeps walking around the house. And now he's gonna go and do some dancing. He, he's just like all over the place, all honesty. And Cassie, Cassie is off to work as, as, as well. She's feeling a little smelly and uh, I guess it wasn't a good morning for Cassie as well. Cassie normally is very organized, but today she's, she's not. She's actually really not that organized. And it's just all has to do with the fact that she came home like really late after five and then she was really stressed, so we kept her up all night. Even stress could not, like, even the exhaustion of yesterday could not get her to sleep. Like, it was, like, so, like, such a deep, deep sense of stress. Such a deep stress. I really have taken an interest in Nestor. Uh, out of the two boys, Nestor is one that I can relate to the most, and that is because he, he has a very sporty, like, look on things. He really... Um, he really seems like a cool dude, and I just I just really like vibe with him. I, I really really do vibe with him. Vance, I don't know Vance that well yet. We barely really talk to each other. I guess we 
both kind of hinted toward another. Uh, Salem seemed to just get along more with Vance. Vance is a little more hesitant and a little more shy and he okay he obviously is a little on the bigger side which is why he's a little hesitant because he's in this group for fitness people and he's kind of like starting out and he's not even you know joining the group because he's into fitness you know he's joining the group because you know everyone kind of like hangs out together and they just get like enrolled in the clubs and, and stuff like that it's not like an actual passion for fitness and he feels a little out of out of sorts there you know it's like hmm i i don't exactly know like i don't exactly know how i'm gonna fit in there okay hold up just a second yes another addition in the books you did great out there savannah the herbs are hot right now work on your comedic timing and nail your signature look if you do well in this gig we may be able to start charging for your signed portraits oh my lord so as i was saying you know Vans is feeling a little a little out of place and I um I can understand that. You know, he's you know everyone is kind of in shape. Even Salem, you know, he he got in shape really fast. He was just lazy, not like fat or anything. And um obviously fans is maybe a little bit on the bigger side, so he stands out amongst these jocks and amongst these like slim people, right? And He's new in the group and he just feels like it's so ironic that he's with a bunch of people in this group for exercise while he has never exercised a day in his life, you know what I mean? He feels a little, like I said, he feels a little out of place and I can totally, totally understand that. While we're having a moment with Paolo with the girls not around, I'm gonna ask Paolo for some advice. Um, I want to ask him a little bit about children and what he thinks and what he thinks he should do if he wants maybe some kids with Savannah and, and things like that. I don't think any, okay, I don't think Paolo or Savannah really have talked about kids before, unlike Salem and Cassie, obviously, who have talked about that, like, quite a few times. And I, um, I guess the conversation is getting a little too personal, so they're taking it outside to see. I think that Paolo has never really thought about kids you know he's a little younger he's mentally a little younger as well and he doesn't really care much about that kind of thing and he well he does care about that but he's never really thought thought it through and now that sam is bringing it up he's kind of like well, you know what i guess i would like some kids as well oh don't tell me you're gonna come inside again because i would really really be frustrated with everything like this anyway i'm gonna have them sit and chat here because our time they're gonna go somewhere and i'm like no oh, i'll sit your butt down Salem is so happy that he has a buddy like Paolo who is so completely opposite like him to give him some sort of advice and to make him feel like, you know, he's not that crazy for wanting kids and he's actually not that. It's not weird either, you know? There's there's nothing strange about this. There's nothing weird about this. There's absolutely nothing as far as what Salem has told him that seems weird and it kind of makes him reflect on himself a little bit, um, you know? Maybe I want kids some as well, and he's it, the, the advice he gave is like, bro, you need to sort this out. Like, if you want something and your girl doesn't want to, you might get a lot of arguments in the future, you know, because you're gonna regret not ever having it done, and then she might regret doing it, you know. And, and maybe you're not compatible at all, like, bro. Like, this is definitely causing. I mean, Paolo is just very upright like that. He's like. Mm. Maybe you're just not fit to be together, even though you're married. And I don't think Salem really was, like, down to hear that. I think he's like, um, okay, I think I married her for the right reasons. I mean, she wants kids, but just not now. So that means one day, right? That doesn't mean that it's a bad choice. He starts to overthink now. He's like, oh my god, like, um, what the heck just happened? Guys are thinking, okay, would you have... Would you like for Salem and Cassie to have a child? I wonder what you guys would think. We do have the room. It's just not like we can really do anything or make a particular baby room because we're not living in a house that's ours. This is a rented apartment. 
um, here in Delzel Valley. They have a bunch of rented apartments just around here. There's like two here, two there, and then like also let's say there's four rented apartments. I mean rented rentable apartments. There's four of those, and since this is not their house, they really cannot make it how they want it to be. This is just kind of like what it is now and what is going to be not entirely their style but you know what you can't really change it because you don't own the place you can't really do anything to the place right cassie knows this very well and she doesn't want to half ass a family you know into like this this place is not even ours and she thinks this so through she's like do i want to raise a kid in a house that's not mine like nah i want to have my kid their own bedroom and i have a lot of things and i don't know see if salem can ask her on a day just Oh my god, they're so cute together. They're so flipping cute. Um, maybe compliment her appearance a little bit, and then maybe we can go out tonight. You know, maybe, babe, maybe we can do something together. Maybe a walk. Do you want to spend some time together? Do you like? Do you want to go out? But Cassie doesn't really want to go out. She's feeling a little, you know, stressed, and she rather doesn't really want to leave the house. So instead, they have offered to just spend the night outside. They're just spending some time um, on the backyard, just kind of by themselves. There's not a lot of privacy, of course, but what? Did I just know? Wait. <laughs> okay, so I didn't really realize that I put it backwards, so this is a little awkward, but... <laughs> Um, how about we just pretend that that isn't happening and this is not weird at all, even though it is. <laughs> anyway, oh my god. I, I have to, I have to talk to her about this. You know, Cassie, I really, really, can we even talk on the swings? I wonder, like, Cassie, I really, I really want to know what you think about kids and your... Like, Cassie, I really want to know your deepest wishes and dreams. And, and do you really would like to have some kids someday? Or do you not ever want to have kids? Like, I I know it's scary. It's scary for me to even think about having kids. But do you think that there will be a time that you'll be ready? Or are you just kind of keeping me, you know, on hold? And of course, Cassie. I think Cassie would react a little a little uh, not aggressive not aggressive maybe a little passive aggressive to this because if if i think about this realistically if someone came to me and was like yo do you ever want kids if i say oh i want to have kids someday and then someone starts doubting your every move and then be like do you ever want kids like do you ever are you just like lying to me are you keeping me on hold when we're married and i, don't know, I would feel a little attacked and not even well, attacked maybe not but i feel, feel slightly offended like someone would question me you know salem why why would you question that why would you think i'm lying to you and, and she's obviously really stressed as well so that definitely doesn't help that just makes you say such things you don't really mean it's like i want to make more money oh my god like i i want to have more money i want to have a house i want to have so much more things before i have a family. Salem is feeling really uncomfortable with all the yelling. He does not like arguments whatsoever. This kind of stresses him out. Like, who told you to Salem? Like, who told you that I don't, that like I did, I married you under false circumstances? Like, yeah, but Paolo maybe hinted we're not perfect for each other. Kind of blurred that out. And Cassie would definitely respond with something like, excuse me. You listen to someone else, you let someone else decide what our marriage is like? Like, are you kidding me right now? Like, are you actually kidding me right now? And like, you know I love you. I, why would I marry you if I didn't love you? Why would I marry you if I don't want to have kids with you? At this point, you know, um, Cassie did curse a little bit. So I feel like it would only be appropriate if Salem kind of cursed back and was like, uh, excuse me, like, oh, what? Like, oh, what? That is so cute. Like, look at Savannah and Savannah, like, doing some exercise. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't like arguing. Just give me a hug. I, I'm, I'm just really, uh, maybe it's a little weird to hug it out. But you know what? I feel like they need this. I feel like if they're not going to hug it out, they'll just honestly feel like they both need a hug. Like, something to comfort them. They died. Oh, a hug is something that all it needs. Even if we argue, we can still hug it out. See, that, that's what all, all they all that's all they needed. Just a little hug.
Maybe you're right. Maybe we should wait with having kids. I'm, I'm sorry, you know? I can... <laughs> Lol. That cat just, like, walked over us. They're really cute together, just counting the stars and talking about things like this. They're trying to find a midway, and I'm not even sure there is a midway. But you know what? Maybe... You know, maybe... Cassie can let herself go a little she's not ready to have any kids right now but what if she just sets like an ultimatum what if she gives herself some sort of ultimatum like when this happens when this is done when this happened you can have kids and i think salem would agree with that what if you give me like six more months what if you give me until what if you give me until next fall to get my life together then we can try and have a child and I'll work my butt off I'll work harder than I've ever done and if I cannot make it by then then I'll promise that I'll I'll start taking your wishes more seriously and I'll start giving up my life um, a little for you to have your life and I think Salem Salem would definitely laugh like he's doing right now and be like you know you don't have to give up your life I never wanted you to give up your life all I want for you is to be okay with the fact that we're gonna have a family together and have a little us a little mini us despite that we might still be living in these conditions despite that we still may be living in here I would I would love for us I would love for us to have that. Ew, they're so fucking cute. And I think that would be the best common ground. Whether it's the, the best decision ever, who knows? Maybe they both have to sacrifice a little for that. Salem has to wait patiently until Cassie has, you know, finalized whatever she's trying to do before the fall come. And... Cassie has to give up a little bit of herself, that little hardworking part of herself that screams, I'm not ready yet, I'm not ready yet, I, I, I'm I, not ready yet. And I don't even think she'll be completely ready when fall comes. I honestly, in all honesty, I don't think she'll be ready. Because I don't think she'll ever be ready because she's like a workaholic. She loves working, she wants more and more and more. She just wants to be the best that she's ever can she ever can be and be successful and some people that are successful just keep on wanting to be more successful and i feel like maybe she is kind of like one of those people that will never be truly happy with the success that she has because she already has quite a success with like some of the music that she's doing she's not super famous but she has a lot of success and you know what i i am starting to think that you know it's just one of these things that she's scared of and we should definitely not like rush into but i'm also thinking that once she realizes and once she'll see the baby that they've made together or something like i feel like everything would fall in its place i think everything would just i don't know you know what i mean i think she just has to like or she just has to let that anxiety part of her go that if she doesn't work She'll never be successful. Not if she has a kid. Cassie really truly wants a kid. She never said she doesn't want to. But she's just afraid that she will lose everything that she's ever built. And that she cannot ever be successful once she settles down. But you know what? I think that everything I think that everything will be fine with these two. Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh my god, they're so cute. I think everything will be fine 100%. 100% they'll be fine you know why because I know for a fact if you face your fears everything kind of falls into place uh, it'll be so cute anyway I want to thank you guys I'm gonna end this part right here let me know your thoughts I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next part bye